there's no major difference really between exercising leadership in a sort of usual classical quote unquote normal environment where you are physically interacting with people and exercising leadership in a virtual environment. Why? Because the traits and uh, the characteristics of leadership, what the components of leadership are still the same. What's leadership? Leadership is about mobilizing people. So it's about mobilization of people so that they can face their reality, solve their problems if they have problems and challenges and move forward or create opportunities or capture these opportunities so that life can become better. Because remember, it's all about survival and growth. So that's what leadership does. It mobilizes for survival and growth. Now, you have to do this, whether it is live or it is virtual. Now, virtual poses little more challenges because, you know, you're, we're talking from 3D dimension where you're physically interacting with people into a 2D dimension where you appear on screen or through, you know, voice. But still, you have to do that. So the challenge here is to further emphasize on the qualities that are required to exercise leadership, like communication. Normal communication or communication in normal terms is usually easier because people are used to, you know, dealing with each other on a 3D level. So we can see each other's faces in a sort of normal way. We can touch each other. We can shake hands. We can do all the things that we do in normal life. But when it comes to virtual, a virtual life, then that becomes different. So issues like communication has to be further emphasized, right? So that you make sure that the right message is delivered. Um, issues like um, time management, issues like being efficient and productive through using, you know, the mechanisms of uh, virtual communication, Zoom or other, you know, um, Microsoft Teams or other facilities become uh, you use them better so that all these parameters of being efficient productive you know a good use of time are maximized through this new medium because it poses a challenge on how, on how to do that but if you pay attention and you are aware that you need to be more effective and efficient when interacting through this you know virtual medium then you can do that it's possible so the qualities are the same but maybe you have to emphasize them more Matters like authenticity is the same because people see you and authenticity is felt through, you know, through the way you talk and the way you tone and to what, to what extent you sort of project um, genuine uh, reality rather than being fake. And also in the way you express yourself, what's written on your face in terms of body language and also in the way you conduct yourself and you behave, you know, the overall expressions of what you do visually, vocally, in terms of behavior. All of this expresses authenticity. So these things remain the same. So in conclusion, exercising leadership in a normal medium or in a virtual medium is really the same when it comes to the fundamentals. Now, what you have to do is to adapt to this virtual medium and see what you can learn in terms of techniques so that the key components of leadership are still delivered on a, in, a, in, a, in this virtual world. So bottom line, do what you have to do, but learn or what you have been doing when you're exercising leadership, but learn the techniques and the skills and the tricks that comes with the virtual medium so that you can maximize your impact in this new reality.